Okay, awesome. Okay. So first question, what does BARD BVMAX mean? Good question. Um, in one version of my talk, I spent too long explaining it and decided to cut it out. Um, it's basically a bad pun on uh, Bandcamp. So like a, a bivouac, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's like a, a tent or a, a camp that you put up hastily. Um, and a bard is a musician, of course. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I like puns. I'm a dad. And uh, that's the best I could come up with. Um, I'll probably find a different name for it. But I liked that bivouac, if you stick an M in there, it becomes bivumax. And it's kind of like editor mac macros for generating some <laughs> generating some uh, HTML. OK. Yes, it is confusing chatting on IRC at the same time. Um, quick question, Grant. Yeah. Um, so right now you're sharing your screen. Um, are you planning on like showing something with it? Or for example, should oh, I maximize your I don't webcam? Know. I can turn it off for now. Okay. You can cool. turn on the webcam, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll maximize your webcam. Okay. Thanks. Um, I'll get to the answer for my color theme here in a bit in IRC. Um, next question on the Etherpad. Does this metadata workflow also support unsynchronized lyrics within ID3 tags, multi-line metadata? I don't know. Um, actually, it's funny because I was trying out different things with metadata, and really the biggest thing was to figure out how to do mass tag editing. And that was like not, it wasn't very intuitive, like I said, with EMMS. I think EMMS is really great, but its interface is huge. Like if you do meta X and type EMMS, you get, I don't know, 270 some candidates. There's a lot of functions going on. Um, I basically found the features that I needed to get this workflow working. Um, I would guess that you probably can do it. And if you don't, if you can't do it out of the box, I think you could script EMMS to do that. Um, I'd like to know more, and I'm certainly going to be uh, investigating it. I will try and post my findings somewhere online. Um, is it possible to import batch metadata? I'm not sure. I would guess yes is the answer. EMMS can connect to um, like metadata services. I haven't done that because I was just using um, audio files that I created myself. I know that on the back end, it calls out to shell programs for tagging things. There's a lot of different options it can shell out to. I was using the. Um, the Vorbis tools to tag the particular files I was working with. Um, you can also use tiny tag. And there's some other, that might be the Python library. I can't remember. There's two other libraries that it can shell out to for um, doing metadata. Uh, my current workflow for tagging music is to first apply replay gain in FUBAR 2000, fix egregious mistakes, uh, use beats to apply metadata from music brains or Discogs go over remaining albums with FUBAR 2000 again. Is there a chance textual tagging could allow doing it all in one program? Have I experimented with mass tag updates queries? I have not. Again, I was just doing this workflow, taking raw files with no tags and doing that. Um, I believe because it calls out to the um, programs in the back end, I'm sure you could work that out. and. I think EMMS would benefit from having something like that because w we work with text and Emacs. Being able to, to use Emacs as a front end for those updates would be really fantastic. So really, it's just a matter of um, writing the interface to the external tool. Um, is there a link to some info expanding philosophy of how to compensate musicians? Um, no, uh, I don't really have a lot of philosophy around that, I guess the first thing I could say would be something like a universal income. I feel like that would solve a lot of problems if musicians could just be musicians and not have to worry about their pay. I will think about it more. Um, this is kind of one of my first forays into be getting public with some of these ideas. So I will try to do more and let the community know. What Emacs theme am I using? 
can't remember. It's one of the Kaolin themes, K-A-O-L-I-N. I think it was Aurora or or Bubblegum, maybe. But the Kao Kaolin themes are nice. I recommend them. Not using Doom Emacs. Doom mode line, though. It's very pretty. SVG support built into Emacs. I'm using Emacs 27.1, and yes, SVG support is built in. Um, I may have had to compile it with some Cairo support. I don't remember for sure. Um, but yes, you can even take screenshots of your Emacs from within Emacs in SVG. It's pretty great. OK, um, I don't know how much more time we have left for questions. That's most of the things on the Etherpad. Um, I think we have like 10 more minutes to catch up with like the schedule. OK. Yes, yeah, so if there are more questions, feel free to answer them. Okay, I'll start kind of looking through IRC and keep an eye on the pad, too. Thank, thank, thank you all for um, listening and for enjoying the talk. I'm glad it turned out well. Awesome. Yeah, it's been fun so far. <laughs> How did I manage? OK. Um, I can post a snippet of that. Or actually, I can share my screen, can't I? OK, I actually have it up right here. So I think I got this from Alpha Papa, to be honest. Um, so I define screenshot SVG. Um, it's an interactive command. Ah, uh, yeah, there's Alpha Papa. OK, there we go. I would like to change this so that I can get it into like the copy paste buffer so I don't have to copy the file in, but uh, I haven't really hacked on it yet. <laughs> OK, um, org header colors. OK, so that might be a good question. I know um, the presentation, uh, sorry, it's hard to think and type at the same time. Think and talk and type. Okay, so the presentation is just a normal um, org file, right? So I have my headers and my and the author. You can even stick your email and other headers in there. But there's a package called org tree slide, which I whoops, why is it not? Um, I must have not required it. Quick question, Grant. Yeah. Um, can you try sharing your screen, maybe? Oh, is it not shared? I'm yeah. sorry. Thank you. There we go. Should be coming up. Let's see. Yeah, it's coming up. Yep, we see it. Awesome. What? Okay. I don't know why this isn't working. It was working. OK, you want to see the screenshot? <laughs> Whoops. OK, I just took a screenshot. Um, so org tree slide, I don't know why it's not launching. I thought that I had required it, but I must not have. Maybe I'll try. OK. So there we go. So org tree slide is a way that basically uses narrowing and some kind of font tricks to it changes your titles or your your metadata into kind of this banner for the title here. And it automatically sets the faces for you. I know you can customize that, of course. And then as you um, go through the org file, you get these 
kind of nice animations and um, uh, what's it called? Breadcrumbs up at the top. So org tree slide, I highly recommend it. It's really nice because you can give your presentation and practice it. And while you're practicing it, you can edit things as well because it's still just an org document using narrowing. You know, it doesn't actually change anything. Um, so definitely recommend org tree slide mode. Okay. Let's see what else. Share my screen to demo. Oh, the, S the SVG. Let's see. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this now, but I'm actually viewing the SVG screenshot that I took with Emacs. Um, see, here's the source of it. So Emacs made that, and here's the image. And uh, it's cool because you can even do it again and again and open more screenshots of screenshots. Yeah, definitely Emacsception. <laughs> Fun stuff. Anything else in chat? Org header colors. Oh yeah, I talked about the themes. This is another Kowlin theme. I think the one in the talk was maybe this one, Aurora. Oh, here's there's something funny. When you start org tree slide with a different theme, this top header bar gets the faces from that previous theme, and I have not figured out how to fix that yet. Did I have to compile to get the screenshot? I think maybe I did, yes. If I'm remembering correctly, um, I got Emacs 27. I'm not on a Mac. I saw Alpha Papa's comment on Reddit, and then um, I recompiled it with Cairo support. Yes. See lots of good conversation on here. Yep. Do we have like one or two more minutes? Okay. Um I guess while I'm here, I might as well say thank you to the organizers. Uh, I really appreciate everybody's work on this. It's fun to be a part of this community. I'm enjoying the other talks I've seen so far today, and I'm looking forward to, to the rest. Um, it's really interesting just from being on Emacs in IRC for a few months, I've already connected with a lot of interesting people and have a lot of cool connections um, already. Thank you for being a part of the community, Grant. That's yeah, good to be here. I have another talk tomorrow as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks for everyone in the Etherpad, too, for putting more comments on these questions here and taking the notes. OK, so I think that's about all the time that we have for the Q&A. OK. Um, thank you again so much, Grant, for your awesome talk and for popping in for questions. Yeah, thanks again for hosting. See you later. Cheers. See ya.